It's time to get into the f***ing drama today, baby. Lil Yachty exposes Caribou and Mitch. Yes, sir. And nobody would even know who the Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What the f*** are we talking about, bro? I wrote that f***ing verse when we went on On The Radar. This is the best. And he pulled up with the receipt. Do y'all remember that video shit. that I made not too long ago about Caribou leaving the Concrete Boys or supposedly being kicked, all right? And over time, it hasn't been that much information released about the whole thing. Lil Yachty went live and he talked about it, of course, and people just had assumptions of what they thought happened and that was it. But for some reason, this whole month, Lil Yachty been getting a lot of hate, okay? And one of those reasons he's been getting hate, the biggest reason, matter of fact, I'm sorry, is because he went on a podcast, right? He was on this podcast like he usually be, and he was talking about a topic with one of his homeboys and key glock was sitting there just listening you feel me and this conversation got so deep to shit sad man all key glock wanted to do is just smoke a wood man mm -mm -mm. That's tough. Point where it almost seemed like Lil Yachty was really just disrespecting his homeboy named Mitch. But what's really happening between Lil Yachty and Mitch is that Lil Yachty thought it was just a joke. Like he didn't, he claims that him and Mitch were just joking. It wasn't nothing crazy. And when that, that shit ain't seem like no goddamn joke, nigga. What type of joke is talking about literally yo homie being broke and you making his career? Like nigga, that's not, that don't sound too much like a joke, nigga. And if it was a joke, that nigga was not laughing. Tweet had blew up people had took it the wrong way and felt like Lil Yachty was disrespecting his closest friend right throughout the live I'm finna show y'all right Lil Yachty claims that he talked to Mitch and he wanted him to clarify that hey can you tell them that I wasn't disrespecting you it was just a joke between me and you you know what I'm saying because I don't want them to think that I'm just a flat out mean person or whatever you know what I'm saying while they was talking or whatever Lil Yachty claims that Mitch just declined it he didn't want to do it he didn't want to tell people that he wasn't being disrespected so yeah my nigga cuz that nigga felt disrespected Respect it, nigga. That nigga was like, that nigga was like, can you tell everybody, like, you know what I'm saying, on Twitter, like, that shit was jokes. I was, it was jokes. It was jokes. It was jokes. Bro, that nigga Mitch did not feel like you was joking, nigga, because that nigga was not laughing in the slightest. Really caused Lil Yachty to go on his whole rant and basically expose both of them, Mitch and Caribou. But before I show the full live where Lil Yachty went off on everybody, right, there's a couple things that made Lil Yachty want to spaz on Caribou because for some reason, somebody had brought up and tweeted out, she said, I see why Caribou left. And she replied to that whole situation, right? Somebody had randomly responded and they said, she personally told me I heard her mouth they kicked her out they are off the people they were in her she didn't leave they kicked her out two trill was the only person that had her back which is why she only follows him then somebody responded she said oh my god so they was being fake towards her she says bro she walked in my job red lobster to order some biscuits and i asked her why she left she immediately corrected me and said i didn't leave bro is red lobster biscuits really just that good my nigga is red lobster biscuits so good where niggas really just walk in that just to get some fucking biscuits. I ain't never had that shit, so I don't know. Leave. They kicked me out, saying that they were really mean to her her a lot and she just won't talk about it and majority of the tweet is just saying that she seemed really hurt you know what i'm saying while she was taking this picture with her and she actually shows proof and caribou seems to have like a stunned face and trying to smile you know what i'm saying even though she don't want to smile you feel me then somebody made another tweet she said why did they do that though i feel like they were hating on her success this random girl that took this picture with caribou and that talked to her right she responded she said these dudes were just hating on her the whole time and y'all probably wondering okay how do you know that's real i, I mean, mean i first, guess she took a picture with her right then caribou tweeted something right after this said this age well and she shows the tweet that she made a day ago that say i don't say too much because i know gonna unfold on its own and at this point things just look very suspicious not only did mitch really get just disrespected from Lil yachty maybe that was just a little argument whatever maybe it's not that serious okay that's cool but then the whole caribou situation now this is coming back up you know what i'm saying of her leaving concrete it came back up now Lil yachty is back in the hot seat and things are not just looking good for him so eventually Lil yachty randomly went live and he just started spazzing so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all exactly oh, what happened here we go, Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, what's here we go. from god this whole character to damn duty that fat ass cup of panda express nigga <laughs> nigga got that fucking xl boy this mitch situation online with y'all talking about some uh little yachty disrespecting his friend i'm gonna start with care right because mm. right now i'm on some everybody yeah he looked mad yeah. <laughs> no shit duty all i ever did was help care care if you want to tell this tell the whole story Ooh. How you verbally use people, all right? 
Don't get. I don't know whose side to believe no more at this. Don't hear and make it oh, seem shit. like niggas kicked you out. Like niggas kicked you out, cause uh, me and you, bro. Go ahead, tell people how you talk to people. Ooh. How you tell my security guy? Oh, you home? Oh, you work for me? Oh, uh, we a uh, security guard? You, what? You ain't got no. You're poor, and uh, we above you. And how you, you talk to people like they nothing? So you telling me Caribou got the ego of death? Uh. See, chat, it's always, I'm telling you, chat, it's always the bad hoes that got the deadliest ego, my nigga. It will be the baddest bitch you ever seen, my nigga, and that bitch got the ego of death. You talk to people like they're, like they small, like they, like they beneath you. Oh, mm. shit. Bro, bro. Oh, bro. shit. Tell people, tell people how, tell people. Where is this nigga at? You verbally those people. How you told me you gonna s on me when you see me? Tell people you what? talk to people, what? bro. She was gonna what? Your brain is clinically empty, bro. How you disrespect people? How you how you go around treating people in your everyday life? Mm. I've been letting you do this whole thing where you act like you like a princess and you sweet and you know like oh you just such a good girl, bro. Stop the front, bro. We didn't. Internally, we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career. So he basically saying every since that nigga say of me giving you this career. What's the word? What's the word? Uh, sup, man. What's the word? Here go the battle of egos, nigga. Oh shit. Caribou started. She always been hostile in front of others. Okay. What are we talking about, bro? What the? Are we, what? Yo, what the? Are you even talking about, bro? Mm. You don't even do nothing. You. What the? Yo, bro. No, he mad. It's so this crazy nigga. to me, bro. I, 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 I've given you a career. Oh, shit. And time to time, you just disrespect me. I wrote every oh, verse you've done. I addressed you. I dressed all five. Nah, I can't, I can't sit here and lie. I did guess a long time ago that Yachty was writing her shit, my nigga. When she first blew up, I guessed that shit, bro. Because it was like... It just seemed like some shit Yachty would write. Damn, so this nigga wrote. So he wrote all her shit? Like, all of it? Like, everything? Damn. I ain't gonna lie, Yachty. If you wrote everything, my nigga, that means you got a, you got quite a lot of duds, my nigga. Because a lot of them verses you, you wrote her, nigga, was kind of shit. Five of y'all, bro. Oh, my God. I dressed five every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. Oh, nah, this nigga. This nigga is crazy. Nigga, why the f*** he just diss all the concrete? What is wrong with this nigga? Oh, he crashing. He crashing. He crashing. He crashing. He crashing. He crashing. Yachty is the type of nigga you should not tell shit to. You cannot tell this nigga shit, bro. He the type of nigga that if he bought you a meal, he gonna tell the host, yeah, bro, remember remember that time <laughs> we was at goddamn, <laughs> we was at Culver's and shit. I bought you that motherfucking spicy chicken sandwich. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? I put eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I okay, I don't know if oh, this, this is just him okay. having an ego or <laughs> let him chat though. Let him chat. Put eight that nigga crash I got a cardio watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, you the most dis you what you was watching tables. You was you was you was you was waiting. The battle of egos. <laughs> he went in that bitch. What are we talking about? I changed your mother life. Oh and you on here lying talking about some we <laughs> you? You got me up, bro. You got me up, bro. You disrespectful, Fuck, hello. bro. You Fuck. talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you gonna. Sp that nigga said we changed this broke nigga life. <laughs> you oh you tell God. people we changed this broke nigga you life. To the, you talk to my label crazy. I ain't gonna lie, making fun of people that's poor or who ain't got it like that. That's lame, bro. That ain't cool. Hopefully, what oh, Layati's saying shit. isn't true, cause that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You claim I was stealing money from you, bro. Stealing money from you how? Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. Ooh. See, this is the problem with you new artists. Y'all y'all get popping online, and then you become more popular than your actual music, mm. right? You $900,000 in a hole, and I got every receipt. That gotta be. That's cap. That's cap. That's right? Nigga, how is she 900 bands in the hole 900 bands is that what he signed her for 900 bands is that how much he signed her for what the mm. fuck hundred thousand dollars concrete in a hole i got every receipt i'm gonna post it i dare you try me try me i'm gonna post it and i'll post how much money your 
Streams are made. You got, bro, stop. Don't don't go on the internet and this act like I'm is you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money. And, and, and paid your, yeah, this nigga got it. <laughs> and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know who the caribou was if it wasn't for me. What the f are we talking about, bro? I wrote that verse when we went on on the radar oh so he did write the verse i knew i was a trip i don't think he ah. that purpose so everyone would say who the f that girl i slowed the beat down i put 808 specifically on your verse so when it got to your part in the beat drop everyone would be like oh the, the girl is the craziest one you telling me this nigga literally managed her blow up not only did he provide the verse the nigga slowed down the beats put the 808 on that motherfucker. specifically made her go last this nigga could be capping but if he is not this nigga is a fucking genius no no dick suck no dick suck no dick suck no dick suck Damn. i wrote that verse the night before we even went to on the radar on my phone bro i typed i i, I got the voice i got Reference. What the f are we talking about? You ain't never, you ain't never. Appreciate no that phone. follow, my boy. The reference is crazy. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been left. Cause you ain't got no music. Cause you can't rap. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say nothing. On my mother's life, I was gonna let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. Nigga, so know. nigga, so she can't like she can't rap at all, nigga. Or she just can't write. Maybe she can, nigga. She can rap, nigga. She probably just not good at writing. But you gonna go on the internet and say that I'll you, Carol, I've never you. I let you live in my house for free. You lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. I let you live in my house for free. Damn. I let you live in my house for motherfucking free. When you was disrespecting free? my home security and telling them that they they beneath you and that they better shut up and what? watch this house because they work for you when they work for me. Same way you talk to people at the label, same way you talk to the touring person, the touring manager, which I have every receipt on how you talk to people. I can rap. I, I I got I daily. I, He's saying that he got receipts of this. So look at Instagram and Twitter off my phone, bro. I don't even know. I I've been asleep for 17 hours, bro. I went to sleep at 2 a.m. I woke up at 7 p.m. Sit throwing up. I'm throwing up right now. I swear to God, throwing up right now, bro. You say you throwing up? Fuck you throwing up for, nigga? What you mean? What you mean you throwing up, nigga? <laughs> Why are you throwing up, nigga? And you on here got me up, bro? You got me, bro. They couple hours before my birthday, bro. You got me. I ain't never did nothing, but be nice. Oh yeah, this nigga did do all of this on his birthday. <laughs> that's a wild ass birthday, nigga. You exposing niggas on your birthday. Shit, you you a nigga. That's a different type of nigga. I ain't never did nothing, but be there. I ain't never did nothing, but love you. Brought you around every rapper, any rapper, bro. Throw everybody from Baby to Drake to, bro. I put, I get, I I I put you on. Stop doing. It. Come on, bro. I'm completely sober, bro. Y'all got me. <laughs> Come on, bro. We not gonna we not gonna act like it, bro. Like like I'm crazy, bro. I was you was my best friend, bro. Like, come on, bro. I made sure I gave you this career. What are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? Not to this Mitch situation. But here's the part oh, where he talks about Mitch. I'm online talking about some little yachty, uh disrespecting his friend in front of Key Glock. I didn't I didn't that I bro. I said, all right, you know what? I'm gonna give you a platform. I'm gonna find someone to sponsor us. And I'm going to give you a platform. Nigga. I'm gonna make a podcast. And I'm going I'm to show people how funny you are. I'm going to show people how crazy you are. I'm going to show people, like, how cool you are. So that nigga wasn't joking. He literally just proved my point. He proved my point. By exposing even more, like, nigga, why is you saying, oh, yeah, I gave this nigga this platform? Even if you did that, bro, why are you telling and 31,000 niggas that? And it's going to give you a platform. Yeah, he helped them You out. know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do no mother... I'm a motherfucking rapper. You got millions of dollars. I don't need to talk to other rappers. What the f are we talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Damn. Don't put got three, three, four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. Y'all sitting here talking about something. He disrespecting his friend. And I got, I'm, I, I ain't f with Mitch, bro. I talk, I, I been asleep all day. I wake up to this crazy. Mitch, how do I say, Mitch, how the f you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's we got goddamn six million views on it Brother. nigga nigga because you wasn't playing though i understand like different friend groups and different friendships like had different levels of jokes and different like shit yeah bro okay i get that neither of them niggas look like they was joking even if yadi was joking mitch was not joking you can see it in that nigga mitch face that nigga was not with what that nigga was talking about, bro. You ain't going there telling folks we playing. 
Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how <laughs> Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right. That damn the podcast, nigga. Damn. Yeah, he made that on a radar bro, freestyle what for the character. Fuck? L man's a deaf. This nigga Yachty just showed exactly what not to do as a friend. <laughs> Is this the reference? And you can see the date. It say September twenty second, twenty twenty three. He really did right. <laughs> You've officially been chopped and screwed. What the f do that mean? It's caribou, Yo. I'm not the two, you gotta know I'm up. This is crazy. It's caribou, I'm not the two, you gotta know I'm up. God damn, nigga, yeah, he wrote that shit. <laughs> he wrote that shit bar for bar. <laughs> you been say you the one, I guess I never stuck. Nigga said I heard T-Pain say Y'all probably wondering, okay, has anybody responded since Lil Yachty said anything? Mitch, Mitch actually Mitch had did. something to say, and he tweeted a few things. But he started off with this. He said, all right, let's clear some things up, dot, dot, dot. But more to the story, throughout this tweet, he just saying that please don't let the clip misguide you. It doesn't represent him and Lil Yachty's friendship, and that they joke around a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it could get pretty harsh. And a lot of people feel like he just lying because he want to save his podcast. Because, you know, I know. I ain't going to lie, gang. I ain't going to lie. I, I seen that shit, bro. Bro, he said we can joke sometimes and it could get pretty harsh i don't give a fuck how them niggas joke around gang that shit ain't seem like no joke you gotta go back and watch how that nigga yadi was saying and what he was saying that nigga sat there on that podcast and was talking about how his mans was broke and he wanted to give his man some 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 to do what bro like nigga that's not no f joke nigga cut the podcast i'm done with that you know what i'm saying he not only said that he made another tweet he said i ain't nobody little bro never been check my history i had stats before i met bro all i ever wanted to do was just focus on the music and being involved in the culture in a positive way i hope none of that hinders that yadi is done with the podcast that nigga gave that nigga gave a, that nigga gave a 10 out of 10 fucking response gave a uh uh, uh what's that sh damn what the fuck is that shit called he gave a media trained uh answer he gave a media trained <laughs> <laughs> and exposed everybody and we're here Lil Yachty came on live and said that Caribou is disrespectful so basically everything that Caribou was saying about Lil Yachty when she had made that tweet or whatever and said that confirming that she was getting by the whole group Lil Yachty is saying that yo that's all wrong Caribou was the one that was the managers and stuff she's the whole team she acted like she was somebody she wasn't she was verbally the security and that Lil Yachty did everything for her including the on the radar freestyle and writing on her raps that's Damn. why she was making songs but now she's not clearly making songs no more because she doesn't have a writer but anyways y'all let me know how y'all feel about damn, this whole scenario bro. um damn bro damn hey my only question is why the fuck did that nigga randomly diss just all the concrete <laughs> like when he was going on on that ramp like why did he do that why did he do that he didn't need to do that that nigga just did that like why why the fuck would why the fuck would you say that ggs the concrete bro